Hello, everybody, and welcome to High Lord Tamburlaine's Obscurities in Literature. So today, again, we're going to go with something a little bit tangentially related to the gaming stuff and the models that we're always seeing on this channel. But today we're going to take a look at steampunk soldiers, uniforms, and weapons from the age of steam. Now, Philip Smith and Joseph McCullough are the authors, the purported authors, because supposedly this is all based on discovered artwork from way back when, according to the intro. But uh, you might recognize these names from various tabletop activities and games, as well as other Osprey books. So one of the things that I've always dug about the Osprey books, my dad's and his brother have huge collections of them, was always browsing through all the artwork. And this book, and I should say, uh, absolutely gorgeous artwork. So... I've been a big fan of games like Wild West Exodus and Malifaux and Dracula's America and all those various steampunk types. And sometimes you need a good color scheme. And I think this book really, really serves that service and use well. So we'll take a look quickly inside. I'm not going to go through it. But the way the book is broken down is that we have everything based off of the various main powers at the time in the 19th century. So, as you pop open the book here, you get introduced to all sorts of wonderful, interesting troop types, and then there is a nice bit of fluff about them as well. Confederate jump troops, and some of the stuff is pretty standard fare for military history artwork and Osprey books. But then you get into some of the more interesting stuff. Obviously, we're not going to flip through the entire book because we want to have some surprises left for you. So, we'll hop to the back. Here we have where are the Japanese. Oh, yes, the Russians and their genetic experimentation that they had going on. Here we go. Can't have a steampunk book without the automatons. So, cool little book, and something that I've been getting some use out of painting some of War Games Atlantic's models lately and needing some... reference material but that's not all we got today so this was such a success i guess for osprey that they went ahead and then released a second volume but this time a bit more specific this second book same authors same artwork well i shouldn't say same artwork same art style is the american frontier and i'm curious i haven't seen a third book yet but this in particular Served me well painting bandits and the like for Wild West Exodus. And there's just a lot of interesting stuff because, again, it does touch on the actual history, but then, you know, turns it on its side, so to speak, and gets more interesting with it. So you have, again, your main areas of conflict at the time and who was involved there. And as you can see here, and I'm trying to get the book to stand up where we can see all of the artwork nicely. Let me move the camera a bit here. Better. You can see we're still very much Alamo suits piloted by the Texas Rangers. Unfortunately, most of the First Nation do not have a whole lot of technological weaponry in the book. And it doesn't actually get into any kind of sci-fi mysticism, too, which is kind of nice. So if you're looking for something, you know, somewhat plausible, I guess, the Mounties, their snowmobiles. Again, perfect artwork for using as inspiration for various... Shadows of Brimstone, you say? And 
and just really gorgeous work. Wouldn't be a steampunk book without the ironclads. So yeah. I honestly kind of hope they do a third one. I'm not sure where they could really go outside of very specific places within the European theater or maybe get down into Africa or something. Egypt or the Middle East might be interesting, but a cool little book and definitely of some value if you enjoy that kind of speculative fiction and if you spend a lot of time painting models that tend to gravitate toward this time period. So kind of cool little thing I thought I would share today. This has been High Lord Tamburlaine with Obscurities and Miniatures. Say thanks for watching. We'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.